happy Friday. My name is Marissa and I, and I am a fifth grade student council member. Hi Nap, I'm Aiden and I am also a fifth grade student council member. Today we will show the focus on several events. First, our character focus this week is on teamwork. Together everyone accomplish more. Well, each of our classroom classrooms service as a team and cap the captain or coach of your team are your teachers. Also, each of your buses act as the team. Your bus driver are your before and after coach to help and help you keep your you safe. However, besides your teachers and bus drivers, cafe supervisors, and other adults at NAP, it is up to each one of you to act as ex ex excellent teammates to help your own team succeed. Help one of your teammates out today. See how just a little more effort in your part can go a long way in supporting your coaches and helping your team succeed. Tomorrow is our fall festival from 11 a.m. to 4 a.m. Our students, parents, and teachers, and sec secretaries have been worked really hard to make this one of the best events ever this school year. Admission is free. Someone of many activities will be including haunted hallways, pumpkin patch, chili cook-off, leaf dunk tank with Mr. Slug and Mr. Mazza, scarecrow billing, scavenger hunt, apple orchards, and more. Earlier this week, Marissa sat down with some of our students to learn more about some of the customs of their family. Hi, I'm Marissa. I'm interviewing a couple of our SNAP students to find out what, what they did past Saturday. What's your name? My, My name is oh. My name is Nevedita. Are you brother and sister? Yeah. What grade are you guys in? I'm in sixth grade. I am first grade. I heard you were celebrating a special holiday last Saturday. Yeah. What's the name of the holiday? Um, Saturday. Durga. Oh, the um, holiday in Durga Puja. <clears throat> what kind of things did you celebrate? Um, we do something that a special day. Like wear something, a special dress, and we eat vegetable fruit that I said. So you wear your, your, a nice dress and wear you eat fruits and vegetables? Yeah, this is a big, big puja. We call that big puja, but a special. What was your favorite part of the celebration? Um, dancing. Dancing and singing. In getting to know more of our NAP team, I also sat down with Mr. Wild. Listen closely to learn more about one of our NAP coaches. Hello, I'm here with Mr. Wild. What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby of all time? I have many hobbies, but my favorite hobby, as a lot of people know, is flying. When did you start liking that hobby? Uh, but really, I kind of got interested in airplanes when I was probably about eight years old for some reason. But um, and I went from building model, building and flying model airplanes uh, as a kid uh, to I started actually taking flying lessons when I was 15 years old, and I got my pilot's license uh, uh, when I was a teenager. I was learning how to fly before I was learning how to drive. What is your favorite series of books? My favorite series of, uh, I assume you mean uh, children's books, my favorite child author is Roald Dahl, as many of my students know. Anyway, um, I love his sense of humor, 
and uh, maybe the little bit of naughtiness he has in his books. Where did you grow up and go to school? I'm not from this area. I grew up in Michigan. I grew up in a town called St. Clair Shores, right outside of Detroit, Michigan. And I uh, went to school at a, at a place called Masonic Heights Elementary School. And I lived actually right on the edge of the school field. If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Wow. That's a tough question. I've, uh, because I was in the Navy, I got to see a lot of the world, but I think my all-time favorite place is Italy. Uh, my wife and I lived in Italy for three years, and uh, we've gone back several times since, and we, we truly love it there. So. Why did you become a teacher? Why? Well, that's another good question. Um, part of it, I was, I've worked in uh, two other careers, but uh, I didn't like my, the job I had prior to this very, very much, and I was watching my daughter grow up and watching her learn and develop, and I think that inspired me a little bit. And also, I loved being a, a kid, and I loved being in school and learning things, uh, and I thought that would be a neat thing to be a part of. So, so I made a decision to get into it. Thank you for your time, Mr. Al. Now back to the studio. That's all the news today. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow, all tomorrow at our fall festival.